Hey, what is up, guys? Today we're gonna be doing a reaction video on the vegan teacher. This is called the carrot and hummus wrap. Yeah, sure. Let's let's just roll with it. I don't know, man. I saw a couple reaction videos like. And I'm, I'm not going to be, well, I'm kind of stealing their ideas, so this is why I'm going to give them a shout out. Go subscribe to Daz Games, or Daz Blacks, with whichever one he did this on. But, uh, yeah. Let's hop right into the video. Hey, you like my new carrots? Right off the bat, in 40 seconds, I already hate this. Ah, uh, this is so bad. This got 63 and 547 views. Well, it's been up for... My videos can be up for probably 10 years and not get that many views. And hummus, swear! Carrots and hummus! They go together like meat and my carrots and hummus, swear! Carrots and hummus! They go together, eating them while wearing it, nothing could be better. Jump, jump, freeze, jump, jump, freeze. Ooh, C is for carrots, H is for hummus. S is for shut, U is for up. No matter what day it is, you won't want to miss eating carrots and hummus when you're matching a tire. Nothing could I don't mind the carrots, the hummus. Just why make a rap song about it? <sighs> Some people know how to rap, okay? The vegan teacher, I don't think she does at all. So let's find a different video, I'm guessing. Uh, let's see here. Watch it. Oh my god. Your friend died trying to be vegan? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh my god, what did he eat? What did he eat that killed him? Was it a banana? A carrot? Was it broccoli? <laughs> I swear. Okay. If there is actually... Some people that are allergic to broccoli that I am sorry, but how are this is so rare to die to broccoli I've never seen on a tombstone or even heard of someone dying to broccoli Bananas sure. Yeah, people can be allergic to bananas Heck, I mean I like bananas. It's just Whenever I do eat bananas, it's just like my throat just feels like it's swelling up, but it's not. It's just like I getting like I get a stinging feeling in the back of my throat. I don't know why. It's just a feeling though. It doesn't actually happen. Oh God! Maybe it was dates and figs. The heck is dates and figs? What is- it? I'm sorry, but I really don't know what that is. Was it soy milk or tofu? Oh my god, he died, eh? And you tried really, really hard to make him eat meat, yeah? Shit. But did you try hard enough? Like, did you take him and just, like, force him down and just say, Man, you gotta eat this dead pig! You gotta eat this bacon to save your life! You can clearly tell. Jeez. Not taking that serious. People can actually die from bananas. Well then... Did you do that? You know? Did you, did you make him eat a sausage? Did you like shove a chicken wing down his throat? I don't know if you... What you're saying now would kill someone. Jesus, just no. <laughs> Why would you shove a chicken wing down someone's throat if they didn't want to eat it? It's like, dang, man. 
I mean, I like meat, but I don't want to forcefully feed someone else meat. Like, dang. It's messed up, man. If you tried hard enough, man. Did she seriously put go vegans at the end? And she said, shove a chicken wing down his throat. Okay, lady. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pastor Andrew, and this... This is an ad. ...is the famous bloodstained shroud... Hi, everyone! I'm here at the entrance of Unicamp. Welcome to Unicamp, it says. And I'm trying to encourage people here at Unicamp to make Unicamp a completely vegan camp. Now, I know it sounds crazy, and I know it sounds futuristic, but it will happen one day. No, it sounds stupid and idiotic. I'm fine with vegans, I just really hate the vegan teacher. It might not happen this year or next year, but one day it will. Let's hope it happens never. When we start to realize, as a religion, that we should not be using animals for food. Like Daz said in one of his videos, God give a whole entire village 100 fish, or like, God literally gave. If you really want to talk about religious, God gave meat to a freaking village. Okay? Why do you think they're on here? Wolves will eat rabbits, hawks will eat freaking snakes, bears. Bears will almost eat a lot of things. Do you think a bear's gonna come up to you and just be like, Oh, hey, I'm a bear. I'm gonna be the vegan that you friend. Cause he's a vegan. No. No, bro. You want me to paint an image into your head of what that bear's gonna do to you, bro? First, it's gonna just roar. And it's gonna come running towards you. And it's gonna... Like, literally eat you. That is not good. Entertainment or clothing, if there are other options, then we will truly live by our values. Today I've placed this sign here just to show you something that I find interesting. Let's read it together. It says here, the greatness of a religion and its moral progress can be judged by the way its animals are treated. Let's be vegan from now on. People's choice, not yours. So if we are to look at our religion, or any religion for that matter, and we want our religion to reflect our compassion for animals, for the environment, then we should think about that and what choices we make. Let's choose to leave cruelty off our plates at all of our events. Did she seriously just say, leave cruelty off our plates? I don't know about you. But if I was rabbit, I'd probably straight up crap out of porch. <laughs> oh, man. In every church building, at all of our camps, let's choose to have veganism as the main fundamental principle. Sentient beings as persons, not just humans, non-humans and humans.
sentient beings. We got this, guys. We can do it. Fine with eating carrots and stuff. I just don't like broccoli. It's no real is it? Chips isn't really like... Well, I guess it kind of is. I guess chips are kind of like vegan. Maybe. I don't know. Because you know what? Chips are like potatoes. I think. Like the skin of it. Or am I wrong? No, it's like... What is it called? Frick you. Um... You know, corn chips? I think it's like those, but just shape different and everything. I don't know. I just now realize, like. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but we really can. It just requires a little bit of extra attention to detail, a little bit of you know, checking what we're putting in the shopping cart, making sure that if we're going to get a couch, it's not going to be leather in our congregations. And what's wrong with the leather couch, eh? Come on. Seriously, what's, what's wrong with leather, man? Sure, it comes from an animal, but... Excuse me? Does it really matter? It's a dang couch. Remembering that our religion can be the first one to decide that we are going to make all of our decisions under the principle of anti-speciesism to the best that we can. Okay, I'm not saying that yeah, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. See, I don't really care. You know? See, I, I just really don't care. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Let's see. What other videos are there now? Gordon Ramsay and the vegan nurse. <laughs> see what this is. Hi, Reddy! Hi. I'm just here at work on break. What the heck is she doing? She's got like her foot all the way, almost up to their, up to her head. The heck, the heck is wrong with you? I'm in the yoga room and just doing some stretching and stuff. I was here. Okay, we didn't need to know that. But if that's the yoga room, why is there a duck right there? <laughs> like my guy. Freaking. Yes, I'm just here in the yoga room with my duck. The heck, man. <laughs> I saw my doctor and my nurse friends and some physiotherapists and some dietitians too. And we were just all talking about what happened. You guys must have heard what happened. You know that vegan teacher? No, like, I didn't. people don't really like her that much. And she's not really my favorite person. She can be a bit like, you know, I don't know. Anyways, you know. But like, it I think the words you were looking for is annoying, rude, mean, uh, forces people what's freaking abusive why do you think freaking dogs have canines eh? you know the sharp little pointy teeth i don't see any flat teeth there eh? flat teeth is made for grinding up like plants and leaves and stuff the sharp teeth made for Biting into meat and ripping it. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, my guy. Really, 
it's kind of mean what Gordon Ramsay did. So, you know, like she was trying to ask him really nicely and politely. And actually that time she really was feeling really nice and polite. And she said, you know, could you, could you please stop hurting animals? Could you, could you please stop being mean to them? Mean. You want to know why there's animals that eat animals? It's so the so the population doesn't go too high up. Okay. You know. I mean sure. Some animals have gone extinct. Some maybe for because people. Some maybe because be because who knows, maybe it was in the wolf dying. No, it's not. Or maybe a fox died, or a bear's died, or who knows? Huh? And, you know, he just did like what all the other 12 year old boys do. He just like pretended to eat a vegetable, and then. Wow. That sure is the face of a 12 year old. Yeah, man, that's really, that's really the man that looks like a 12-year-old. I'm not gonna lie. Ramsey? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him Ramsey for this one. Gordon, I can't pronounce the first word, Gordon Ramsey. I'm just gonna call him Gordon Ramsey. And if you get triggered over the way that I can't pronounce the first word, then that's on you because I kind of can't. But yeah. <sighs> You're the one wearing pigtails and trying to curl it with your finger. Okay. You're the one being like a freaking 12 year old here and he just uh, you know ate a burger and then he started laughing at her and i don't know i just think it's mean like to be mean to people you know to be mean to people and of course we mean mean <sighs> you told a kid to shot not gonna say the next word but and um to eat the eat the vegan food I don't and you say there's no reason people should be mean to you I'm not saying you shouldn't have friends I'm not saying too many mean things but you know I try not to be mean in this video but I'm just saying I'm pointing out the fact that well you're the one that was kind of being mean to Gordon Ramsay right now. You're saying he's a 12 year old when clearly he's not, but okay. We all know how mean he is to animals, so that's just like terrible. So I don't know. We're not really. And we all know how mean you are to your dog. You give him mean. And like, you don't feed him meat. Give him like freaking, what's it called? Vegan food sure we were having a talk about it and a bunch of us were like thinking to ourselves like one of the like like what do, what um like what doctor <laughs> like what did dr barnard said he said like what would happen if all of a sudden like gordon ramsay was in his kitchen and he was like cutting all of the dead animals you know the ones that he paid people to murder for him like all the chickens and the pigs and the cows and the lambs Oh my goodness. Anyways, what if he was like cutting them all and then all of a sudden I hear like a big noise and then he wasn't looking properly and then he accidentally cut off his cut his thumb. You know, he cut his thumb. And so you're saying you hope he cuts his thumb. Yeah, you're cre you're clearly crazy. <laughs> um <laughs> crazy. That's you. It was like just hanging there. It was just like hanging there, just like hang So you, not only do you want it to be cut, like, you're not wanting a little tiny, no, you just want it cut clean almost off to where there's just 
skin there holding it. Or, you know, a little bone. Like I said earlier. <whistles> but you're only a little extra crazy. No, not even a little. Freaking, like, extra, extra crazy. Okay? This was made in 2021. Man, is this gonna be a crap year for you? <sighs> Hanging there by, by, by like a thread, you know? And then he was like, rushed to the hospital like this. And then he showed up in the emergency room. And we were all like, oh my god, your thumb is about to fall off. There's so much blood everywhere. Let's help. But then we looked at his face and we we're like, oh, it's Gordon Ramsay. He's the man who uses that thumb to cut up all those innocent animals who never did one single thing wrong. Did you just say he uses his thumb to cut up an animal? <laughs> First of all, it's a knife. Second of all, I don't think he's gonna freaking be able to have enough force in his thumb to actually cut open an animal. <laughs> Not that, but... I don't think he has a sharp enough fingernail to actually cut up an animal like, bro, are you okay? Are you mentally okay? And you know, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics tells us that everybody can be a vegan. Everybody, you know, new babies, uh, kids, teenagers, moms, dads, grandparents, everybody can be vegan. It's healthy. So, you know, he chooses. You want to know what else is healthy? Your dog eating meat! But no, I refuse that. Probably why you get so much hate. It's karma. <laughs> you know, I was actually playing Rust, okay? Which I will do a video on that. A kid was, like, being really, really rude to me, okay, for no, no reason, you know, I was just doing my normal Rust game, you know, I came to his base because, you know, everybody in Rust will eventually raid you, or you will raid them, it's just how the game works, okay, I was just sitting there normally, okay, I asked a dude to help me in a raid, he did, but later on, I actually found out he was on their team. You want to know what happened next? They got raided. <laughs> yeah, they got raided. Oh, uh, and the thing is, I said karma. And right as I, right as he stopped talking, I checked outside. He went offline. So I, I killed him and I took his loot. Because, you know, that's just how Rust works. And then I went over to their base. They were actually getting raided. At first, I was like, hey, let me kill these raiders so I can get their explosives and raid the base myself. They killed me. And then I thought inside my head, they're getting raided. I shouldn't try and counter raid them. And I said karma to him. Alright. <laughs> so karma did strike. This to be mean on purpose. He chooses to murder them. And he has all these skills. He could choose he could choose to cook anything at all. Like like you know, there's there's flax seeds, you can use that to make eggs and in, in, into cookies and things like that. There's so many You know eggs are like a type of meat, right? They come for chickens, birds, snakes. Their newborn is in that egg. Unless it's like a chicken or a quail. Sometimes. That's meat. You know that, right? recipes? I mean, even if he's a terrible cook and he can't cook his own vegan food, he could at least... A terrible cook? <sighs> if he was a terrible cook, he wouldn't have a cooking show. <laughs> the whole place would be shut down. If he, everything would be burnt. If he was that bad of a cook. <sighs> I personally, I think he's a good cook. You know? 
to look up the recipes, but you know, he's supposedly some really great chef. So why isn't he just only cooking? I already know the next word. Being in food. Being fruits and veggies, nuts and seeds. Why? Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> but um, you want to know why? And also, did you? Are you actually able to cook nuts? Okay. So you're telling me you can take just a regular peanut or something and you can throw it on a frying pan or boil it or something and you can just cook it? I want to know how does that work? <laughs> Please, someone tell me if you could actually cook like peanuts or something. Why is he hurting the animals? Why? Why? So, you know, we were just imagining, all of us, we were talking, like, while we were doing our yoga and stuff, we were saying, what would happen if he showed up in the emergency department like that? What would we do? You know? It's really something to think about, isn't it? Like, because if we fix his thumb, if we fix it, he's going to just use that thumb and just keep holding dead animals again. He's gonna... I'm not going to lie, I have no clue how she, like, took her leg. Okay, never mind. It's not actually that hard. But not only are you a freaking crazy later lady, but you're also like, if this was an actual real statement, yet your job is to nurse people back to health <clears throat> yeah no no you would probably get like not even as you would probably get a zero star rating for that keep cutting him up you know he's gonna he's gonna hold hold a spoon with his thumb and he's gonna like stir up eggs and and cheese and things like that it's like oh my god such an ethical you know, you can just, you don't really need a thumb. People as, um, people actually don't have thumbs. Yeah, they've probably lived to, like, their full life, lifespan of a human, or person if you prefer to say person, you know. Well, Dilemma, like, what will we do? What are we going to do with Gordon Ryan? You help him. Because <laughs> if this was real and you were really a nurse, that's what you should do. <laughs> so, we were sort of saying, okay, like, so if we saw it and we just, we're like seeing his thumb and he's like hanging there and, and you know, we, we, we could like easily pull it back and like sew it back on properly, right? Or we can just be like, Oops! Oh no! Your thumb fell! And then somebody could just like quickly run and just like flush it down a toilet or something, you know? So that he can never use it again! Out of, out of all the ways, I want to know one thing. Out of all the ways, where are you going to stop the bleeding with? <laughs> and I don't think he would go to a nurse. To actually have his thumb fixed, I would go to a hospital. <laughs> what would you do? What would you do? What it, what what would cause the least amount of harm in this world? Cause that's what fix his thumb, dang it. We really need, right? We need to cause the least amount of harm, the least amount of suffering. You want to know what the least amount of suffering would be? To honestly just fix his thumb, dang it! I mean, I wouldn't want Gordon Ramsay to suffer on one level, you know, on one level it's like, it doesn't exactly. seem right to make anybody suffer, but on the other hand, like- Thank you, we can agree on something. Thank you. Jeez. You know, no one des deserves to suffer. So, yeah.
these leaders, these people who convince everybody else to harm everybody else, like look at Hitler, right? Would you have wanted Hitler to keep? Okay. I don't think the people that support Hitler is going to be too happy about this video. <laughs> okay, wow. Alright. This is probably why people don't like her. Mm. No, somebody had to stop him. So if Gordon Ramsay is going to use his thumb and keep paying for millions and millions of people uh, uh, and uh, to, to keep paying these animals and, uh, for, for them to die because he has millions of fans and they're all going grocery shopping and they're all putting all this tin stuff into their shopping carts like all of them <laughs> yep she's gone full-blown crazy a uh, 10 out of 10 out of craziness it's just terrible oh my god it was such a okay I gotta calm down I gotta calm down okay deep breathe deep breathe I don't think deep breathing is going to help you at the mental state you are at right now. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm calm. But anyways, you know, that was a really, it was an interesting- Calm? You don't sound very calm. <laughs> Talk, because, you know, so, uh, some of the people were also seeing like, you know, and he would probably be in a lot of pain, right? Gordon Ramsay would be in a lot of pain. And so, like, yeah, like yeah, imagine that this is your morphine needle, right? This is your needle for morphine. And, you know, he's done so many terrible things. He's killed so many animals and encouraged so many moms to buy dead animals. And he's encouraged so many... To buy dead animals. You know, there's fast food restaurants, right? I just now realized she didn't say raw dead animals. She said dead animals, like, period. <laughs> I was thinking she said raw dead animals. That's why I said, you know, there's fast food restaurants. <laughs> oh, my bad. Dads to go out there and use their hard-earned money to... to to pay for for the 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 rape, torture, and murder of innocent. I don't know how much meat cost, but you know it's like ten dollars or maybe like even five for like chicken or something. Literally, you can go to Food City and get already cooked chicken, and I'm not gonna lie. It's some good chicken. It's either Walmart or Food City. I can't remember which one. But I think it's Walmart. Yeah, I think it's Walmart. And cows and pigs and chickens and, and you know, so if you had the morphine, like, like if, if, like, and of course this is all hypothetical, right? Where, I mean, we wouldn't really do this to have a Of course, you know? Um, yeah. Sure, let's just pretend for a second you're not crazy. Sorry, nope, can't do it. But like hypothetically, so if this was a morphine needle, you know, so when you get morphine out of at the hospital, you gotta like sign it out of the machine, you gotta like, put your ID, you know, you put your thumbprint or your or your fingerprint and your, you know, your eyeball or whatever to get they they figure out it's I don't it's called retinal scan for one thing and for two I don't think you need a retinal scan for that Sh sure maybe a thumbprint and an ID and stuff but I don't think they need a retinal scan this ain't like freaking spies <laughs> see you right so you they know that you're taking the morphine out of the thing so they know where all the morphine goes and then you like walk into the patient's room and then you got your morphine and I would like let's say you had to give Gordon Ra Gordon Ramsay some morphine because he's in a lot of pain his arm is his thumb is just like hanging there and he's bleeding and everything and you want to quickly give him relief because he's screaming help Help! And you're thinking to yourself, help you? Why should I help you? Where were you when all the, the innocent animals were dying and screaming on the factory farms and, and being murdered in the gas chambers? All the pigs being murdered in the gas chambers? And you just said it was okay to keep- Can you quit yelling for like two seconds? <laughs> 
doing it! This woman's face is like blood red. The heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Oof. So what would you? You're looking like the fire off of a fireplace. <laughs> You're redder than a fire. Well, fire can also be blue, but let's just that's let's just pretend there's no blue fire for a second. <laughs> what would you do? What would you do if you had a needle? And you, you know, he has like an intravenous catheter there, and you can like give him the morphine, you know, or subcutaneous, or intramuscular, or whatever way that you know the doctor thinks is the best. And then you could just like give it to him, or you could just be like right beside it, just be like, you know, just inject it like beep, bloop, right beside it, right beside him, like into a pillow or something. Nobody would know. Nobody would know. No, no, I think I would give it to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> no, and Gordon Ramsay would just like keep on suffering just the way that he made millions and millions and millions of animals suffer. Like I said before, stop yelling. <laughs> Shouldn't he suffer too? Nah, nah, I, th I think he's fine. I mean, if Karma already wanted to, like, hurt him, which I personally think Karma's real, you know, Karma's like an actual thing, you know, it's one thing I think that's, uh, real, because, you know, Karma, if you do something wrong, then it's either Karma is real, or it's just the fact that people told you that to scare you or something like that but I personally think karma's real because you know <clears throat> you do something wrong karma's gonna come for you and then you know that's just it but yeah let's uh let's keep watching why should we give him back his thumb if he because lady Meat's actually good. <laughs> I don't want to eat like a freaking plain carrot my whole life. <laughs> Think about this. Take some vegetable or something, you know. Like broccoli, for instance. If you like broccoli, I'm fine with that. I don't mind it. Me, personally, I just don't like broccoli, bro. It's just disgusting. He's just gonna use it to keep hurting all these animals! Maybe so, but... Were they already dead? Yes. Does a lot of people care? Nah, not too many. Or, not too many from the human population. No, no. Of course it's all hypothetical, you know. No, no, at this point it's it's so hypothetical. No, nah. Nah, let's pretend for a second it's hypothetical. And if it really was hypothetical, you'd probably be in the nut house. Either way. What would you do? I'd help him. What would you do? I'd help him. You know, the best thing that we can do is everybody would talk to him and just say, Gordon, Gordon, why are you being so mean? Why are you keeping on doing that? Why don't you just make your whole restaurant vegan? All of your restaurants and all of your meals and new cookbooks and everything. You know, that way when you come in your thumb... <clears throat> uh, in that situation, if I was Gordon Ramsay, I would have been like, sure, sure, let's do that. I would have lied at that point. <laughs> Lying's not right, but sometimes you kind of have to lie. Sometimes. I'm just hanging there, and if it falls, if it's there, we'll know it's just because you missed when you were cutting a carrot. 
and, and it won't be an ethical dilemma for any of us. We'll all be so happy to help you. We'll be like, oh my God, let's put it back as quickly as we can. Get the first best surgeon in the world to sew it up. Oh my God, give him as much morphine as he needs. This this man is a beautiful person who became vegan. Let's. I want to know if you give someone too much morphine, could it kill them? <laughs> I just want to know. Because if it can. I'm worried for my sake. <laughs> if she actually works for uh, the hospital, for a hospital, for a nurse place. Help him! You know, it would be so much easier. Oh, Gordon. Quality writing makes your schoolwork better. What? <laughs> why do you do this? Why? Why should there be? ads here why are ads a thing people come to youtube to watch their videos not this and helps you stand out in the pro thank you anyway that was our talk today we were doing our yoga i don't know i don't know what to do but anyways if any of you guys know him just tell him that, you know, he should really be vegan from now on, you know, and he shouldn't be mean to that vegan teacher or anybody, because, you know, vegan phobia is really mean to everybody, everybody, all the No one likes you because of these reasons. You're crazy. Okay? But, yeah. I guess that's going to be the video there. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.